Jennifer and Natalia work for Growing Up Healthy in Rice County, Minnesota. One of the services they provide is helping people with resources to winterize their manufactured home. Energy burden is a real thing in manufactured homes. The amount of money that families make isn't enough to cover not only their energy bill, but as well as like food and other choices that they have to make. A lot of the work that we do is connecting community members to different resources and the resources can be in the field of education, housing, in this case energy. High energy bills in the winter, for example, has been one of the biggest barriers for families. We know that some of the mobile homes don't have the proper insulation, for example, and we know that that contributes for instance, to having high energy bills. To help with some of that energy burden, Growing Up Healthy does home energy squad visits where they give families items such as energy saving light bulbs, faucet aerators, and energy saving shower heads. And now, a new partnership will help provide even more. With certs, families are also gonna get caulk to be able to fill in holes, plastic window sealer, and then the foam expansion. The reason I think that this is beneficial to a manufactured homeowner is because you can't always find somebody that is willing to work on a manufactured home, or if you do, it's really expensive. So to be able to empower these families, it gives them the resources to be able to do this themselves and help neighbors. In general, manufactured homes are known for using a lot of water, especially during the winter. Part of it is so that their water pipes don't freeze. And Rice County is not the exception for it. And we help reduce water usage in manufactured homes by help providing provi the heat mm -hmm. tape. And we have seen great improvement. What I like the most about doing this type of work is that we work with families. We are also from the from these neighborhoods, and for us, it's really important to see our families thrive. I would say that my hope is for people to not have to choose whether or not they are going to purchase food or pay their pay their rent or their energy bill. I hope that other communities also try to do sim a similar initiative. This seem to work for us. I think because we were listening to community members, we were working with other um, agencies such as CERDS, Excel Energy, the city. I think that a lot of positive can happen when we work in collaboration and when we hear the people from the community and what are some of their needs. I think we are all better off when we're all communicating with each other and working together.